Blurman Ra, myself K. Sadish Kumar, Assistant Professor, Department of Mathematics. So today we discuss about measures of central tendency. The first one, the introduction to statistics. The word statistics is derived from the Latin word status or the Italian word statistica or the German word statistic which means a political state. The term statistics was applied to mean facts and figures which were needed by the state in its day-to-day -day life. The definition of statistics. So statistics is the science which deals with the collection, classification, presentation, analysis and the interpretation of numerical data. The types of statistics. The first, there are two types of statistics. The first one descriptive statistics and another one inferential statistics. The descriptive statistics there are different categories. The first one measures of central tendency that is mean, median and mode. The second one measures of variability that is range, variance and dispersion. So these are the kinds of them. The next one the measures of central tendency. So what is mean by measures of central tendency? A measures of central tendency gives a single representative value for a set of unequal values. The measures of central tendency are known as measures of location. There are popularly called as average. There are various measures of central tendency. The first one arithmetic mean, second one median, third one mode and fourth one geometric mean and the last one harmonic mean. The first one mean. The arithmetic mean is the total of the items divided by their number and then the arithmetic average is also called as mean. The formula to calculate the mean values is given as that is mean equal to summation xi divided by n. For example, the first problem, the expenditure of 10 families in rupees are given below. The families are A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. And the expenditure values 30, 70, 10, 75, 500, 8, 42, 250, 40 and 36. So first we calculate the arithmetic mean. So first we frame the table. The first column is family values that is A, B, C, D, etc. And the second column is expenditure values that is 30, 70, 10, 75, etc. So first we calculate the summation X value that is the total of the values that is sum of X equal to 1061 the mean what is mean the mean formula is how to calculate the mean the sum of the observation divided by the number of values that is summation xi divided by n the sum of xi value that is 1061 divided by the number of values 10 so 1061 divided by 10 that is 106.1 so this is the mean value so another example the height of five runners are 160 centimeters 137 centimeters and 149 150 161 respectively so find the mean height per runner the solution so first with the formula the mean height equal to sum of the height of the runners divided by the number of runners the sum of the height of the runners that is 160 plus 137 plus 149 plus 153 plus 161 so this is the sum of the height of the runners so divided by the the number of runners is 5 this is the total of the value 760 divided by 5 centimeter that is the mean height equal to 152 centimeters so next one median so what is median so median is the values of the middle most item in the series when all the items are in the order of magnitude example find the median of the following set of points in a game that is 15 14 10 8 12 8 and 16 solution first we arrange the given points in the ascending order or descending order so first we arrange the ascending order that is the values 8 8 10 12 14 15 and 16 the number of points is 7 7 the 7 is an odd number so hence the median is the values in the middle position so what is the middle position that is 12 therefore median equal to 12 so next one mode so mode in statistics the mode is the values which is repeatedly occurring in a given set example in a given set of data that is 2 4 5 5 6 7 the mode of the data the set is 5 because the 5 is repeated in two times therefore the mode is 5 